once we hit a uh, a thousand subscribers on the channel i would i will be giving away some uh, auto detailing uh supplies because that's what i like to do personally i love to detail cars so you guys will be getting some cool stuff from chemical guys so once we hit that uh, thousand subscriber goal uh i'll have a giveaway and one lucky person will uh will, will get the uh the winnings of the chemical guys products but you have to one subscribe to the channel and two follow me on instagram and my instagram name is t torres1183 and then of course my channel name for youtube is t torres1183 all right what's going on guys t torres back here for another install video so today we're going to be changing the spark plugs in my car uh, we are going to be putting in the ngk iridium one step colder plugs and i currently have about I think 15,100, 15,200 uh, miles on my car. So for today's install, you're going to need a 5.8 spark plug socket, a three quarter uh, ratchet, a quarter inch ratchet, and an eight millimeter socket. So the first thing that uh, we're gonna wanna do is to take the uh, engine cover uh, off. That'll allow us to get to uh, the spark plugs are at. All right, so like I mentioned before, quarter inch ratchet, three quarters ratchet. Uh, I forgot to mention this, you're gonna need a six inch uh, extension. 5.8 spark plug wrench and then a 8 millimeter uh, deep well socket along with the uh, spark plugs and the uh, spark plug gapper. So now um, with that being said, make sure that you guys, um, I, I, I messaged my tuner and he recommended that all the spark plugs be gapped to 0.26. So prior to this video, I went ahead and gapped all the spark plugs. So now we're gonna get to uh, taking out the old ones and putting the new ones in. So let's go. So step one, remove this. So like I mentioned before, the first step uh, to, ch to changing your spark plugs is gonna be removing the engine bay cover. Just firmly pop it off. And now that allows you to get to the spark plugs. Now, as you can see, we have the uh, if any of you guys have are running a colder intake like uh, like I am, to remove it from this side right here, then you're gonna need to remove this bolt right here and this bolt right here. That'll allow you to move this out of the way to get to this spark plug right here. So yeah, the goal is to remove this just this piece of the tube to allow us to get to this spark plug right here. So you have one, two, three, four spark plugs to remove. So let's get to uh, removing this piece of pipe first and then we'll start with the hardest spark plug first. So first step is you're gonna wanna loosen this clamp up. After you have this clamp loose, the next bolt you're going to want to unloosen is this one, and then you're going to follow it up by loosening that one. So let's get to uh, loosening this one. There you go. That's out. Be careful not to lose this bushing. Now we'll put the camera back on the stand. Hang on one second. Alright, so next, like I said, you're going to remove this piece right here. Hey, okay, voila. Alright, so off camera, I fought this tube to get out of here. I didn't want to show it. I was getting super frustrated. So now you're going to take your 8mm with your 6 inch, uh, 6 inch extension and go ahead and remove the coil pack on top of the uh, spark plug. Sorry if you guys hear that airplane coming uh, over or helicopter. Next, what you're gonna wanna do is pull straight up on the coil pack. You heard the pop. All right, and then the next thing you're gonna want is your 5 8 uh, spark plug socket. Remove the eight millimeter socket put that on and take the spark plug out. <sighs> All 
And once it gets uh, finger loose, I like to just take it and twist it, twist the, uh, the extension myself. Get it just a little bit more loose and she should come right out. Voila, so here's the first spark plug. Let's take a look at it and see what it looks like. This thing will focus, which it's not. So the first spark plug is out. I mean, it's not in the worst shape but it could definitely be better so good thing we're pulling them out and once again it's not recommended that you change them at 15,000 it's just that I'm changing mine at 15,000 because I do constantly or quite frequently run uh, E85 E30 tune so it's gonna uh, affect the spark plugs a lot more than just your regular uh, 93 octane one spark plug out time to put a new spark plug in NGK these are the NGK 6510s, come on focus. If I quit moving so much. There we go, NGK 6510. One step colder plugs. So just a little recap. Remove this tube from the, uh, from the actual intake itself. Uh, one bolt here one bolt there it allows you to push that back and then the cool pad sits directly on top of the spark plug so now we're going to put the new spark plug in all right time to put spark plug number two in once again hand tighten these are your ngk 6510s one step colder plugs pre-gapped they were not pre-gapped to the right spec so like i said i talked to my tuner and he said 0.26 on the gapping. That is Brian at JST Performance. You guys should check him out. He dyno tuned this car. I've gotten 90% of my, my parts from him. This is a full stage three running E30. All right, that feels pretty snug. And then put your coal pack back in. Okay. All right, so we're half of the way done. We only got two more to go. Okay. Make sure that gets good and tight. Don't over tighten it. All right, so on to the third spark plug. Golly, it is super hot out here today in Alabama. 81 degrees and it's 1155. Okay, remove cool pack. Love that sound. Okay. Could be so All right, spark plug number three out. Got the new uh, 6510 to put back in. Last and final spark plug. Last and final spark plug going back in.
All right, so now that's done, we're just gonna put everything back together like it once was and then start the car up. And some of y'all were wondering, this is what the, uh, the spark plugs look like that I took out. So they're not in the best shape, but they're not in, in the worst shape either. Okay, so as you just saw, we just finished uh, installing the Ford spark plug. I'd say probably 30 to 45 minutes. It didn't take that long. Um, once you remove your intake, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be that hard at all. So, and then for some of you, if you don't have the intake, I'm not sure if that tube is over the spark plug or not. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this install video. And if you liked today's video, please leave it a thumbs up. If you didn't like today's video, leave it a thumbs up. And if you're stopping into the channel for the first time, please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. Subscribe, baby. Be sure to follow me on Instagram.